Hey y'all, SEMA 2017 and I got a 67 C10 slammed to the ground called White Noise I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around we'll take a quick look at it. Brady, thanks so much for giving me some time this morning to tell me about your truck. Hey, Scotty, thanks for thanks for having me. Thanks for taking the time. No, awesome. dude. Yeah, I mean, how could you not? You're walking through SEMA and you see this thing laying on the ground. You got to stop and take a look at it. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, 1967 C10 pickup project I, I bought about 15 years ago, sat on it. Had you wanted it? I mean, 15 years ago, you got it before they were cool, right? Yeah. When they were just trucks. Yeah, I mean, a little background. I mean, I had... You know, grew up around these trucks, knew I wanted one, wanted to do one when I got later in life and could afford to rebuild something. And yeah, it was, you know, a little bit of a, of a bucket list thing, if you will. Right, right. You know, um, 15 years ago, bought it, started tinkering with it a little bit and quickly realized I didn't have the money to do that type of build and do what I really wanted to do. You know, so gosh, four years ago, wife said either do something with it or get it out of here. I said, well, you're giving me the option. I'm going to, I'll go for it. And yeah, the option in checkbook and yeah, we're on our way, right? Yeah, I think she's regretting that right now. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been a stressor. Um, but uh, yeah, three years ago, we really started going going hard on it. You know, I, I, I had a different vision on, on the truck for, for how it's turned out now versus what I really thought I wanted. You know, yeah. You know, three or four years ago. What'd you want to pro tour, jack it up? Yeah, What'd you I mean, want to do? I, I, well, I mean, I just had a different vision. You know, keep in mind, I bought it 15 years ago. Right. So 15 years ago, people were doing louvers and, uh. and shaving stuff and doing roll pans. And so you're going to put the license plate in the middle of the bed, <laughs> sideways, cock I, sideways. I don't know if I would have gone that far. But Maybe put a spoiler on yeah, it. Huh? Yeah, probably not that far. But I, but I, I just, I didn't know. Right, I didn't, right, I didn't right. know. I hadn't really, really done a lot of thinking about what I really wanted. So. So, you know, really, probably three years ago, we really kind of developed a vision and, and what I wanted and what I thought I you know, wanted to do with the truck. And not too far off from where we ended up, the truck was actually supposed to be black when oh, we started wow. it. Yeah. Same, kind of the same look that it turned out like, but it was it was going to be a black truck, and we didn't change that until about eight months ago. So, and it looks good. It looks yeah. real clean now. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't be happier with the white. I mean, it, it really kind of catapulted a different look for it. That's you know, cleaner look. Right. And a lot of black trucks out there. There I is. Don't wanna, I don't want to do another black. What know? size wheel are you running on it? Uh, so we're running a, a Detroit steel wheel. Um, you know, those guys wanted to get into the 22 market. With, you know, with a 12 inch wide wheel and, and uh, they they approached me about about doing 2212 in the rear so that's their first one-off 2212 oh, wow. so cool. they use that wheel to develop some tooling for for the future so they'll have the you know 2212 available oh. you know, here, here in the near future um, the fronts are, are 20 by 9 which is kind of a standard wheel for them so those were, those were a big deal a little bit different for us we had mocked the truck up with uh, with a 20 by eight and a half, so we had a little bit of spacing issues. We had to kind of reconfigure after yeah. we decided to go with these wheels. So, what about body mods? You got anything to that? Yes. The, so the body, uh, we try to keep this. I keep calling it stockish. You know, theme with the truck of, of trying to reinvent the, you know, the, the the panels that were there before. Everything before was kind of bead rolled, had a you know stamping to it. We raised the bed floor 10 inches to, to clear the suspension. So when we did that, you know, it was cutting off all the, the body panels and cutting off the tailgate. So we we body modded all that all that type of stuff to try to make it look like it fit. Right. Something like, like it could have came that way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that you know that's always the concept, right? Is you know would Chevy do this? Right. You know if you can mimic what Chevy would have done, I think then it becomes timeless. You know, and, and the, you know the timeless thing has always been the approach is how do we keep this thing. You know, with the stuff that was on the truck, that stuff's never going to go out of style. Right. You know, yeah, guys may do different mods here and there throughout, but it kind of dates a truck once you do that. That's right. But, you know, we we decided to stick with, you know, things like the bumpers with the bolts. You know, they came with bolts, let's leave the bolts. We did bed strips with bolts. You know, because they came with bolts. We did a little variation of them and then, you know recessed them into the into the raised raised uh, steel work underneath the floor. So. You don't see the bolts from the bottom when the when the bed floor is raised, and you know, just try to do it cleaner. Right. You know? But uh, yeah, it was just trying to keep those traits of the truck: you know, wing windows, 
you know, the bottom pinch well. I love the wing windows. Yeah. You don't see that in anything anymore. They delete them all, right? Yeah. That's the first thing you take them out, but I think they're cool. Yeah, and you know, he always hated it with his kids, right? Yeah. You hated, you hated that uh, whistling sound they made. And, you know, we got lucky, uh, you know, precision replacement parts. They stepped up and did all the doors, all the seals for us. Those, you know, they, they, you really don't hear that stuff now. Right. You know, well, yeah, right. You, you had 20 years of technology to weather stripping, and it's a whole lot better now than it, than it was. Yeah, Vibro Solutions, they did all the sound deadening for us, and they've been great. We put it in everything. Every nook and cranny we can make it fit into, right. we, we put it in there. So. Yeah, so it's it's sound. I mean, it, we drove it for the first time. This truck didn't have a mile on it yet. Right, we drove just got it a quarter done. mile down the road and drove a quarter mile back, and that's 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 what it's seen right now. It's, What's up under the hood? Uh, so we put a LS3 6.2 LS3 motor in it, freight motor. Yeah, you know, the only mods we really did to that was we changed out the coil packs just more because of the splash of red I wanted than anything. Right, right. Um, and you know, so we did, we did a MSD coil pack on them. Change the cam, change the, the springs just to match the cam and, and the, the uh, push rods and beef those up, and that was really it. Yeah, know? just to give it a little hot rod sound yeah. to it, right? I yeah. mean, it's a cool truck. It can't sound stock. Yeah, yeah. I wanted that. I wanted that beefy sound. I wanted something that at least gave it a hot roddy, you know, lope to it. Right, well. right. And do you all did you do all this work by yourself? No, so I, I have a, a, a shop that really has been instrumental of making this happen. You know, a shop, JRE Automotive, you know, they're in Oregon. They, uh, they've been phenomenal. And, and he's just not a mechanic shop. I mean, he's, he does fabrication stuff. He, does, he did all my wiring for the truck, both for the air ride system and for the, the whole truck. Right. You know, stuff that I, I, that's not my world for sure. I'm not a, not a builder by any means at that level where I can do that. So he's been instrumental to make this happen. But we didn't, we didn't know we were gonna be at SEMA until six weeks ago. Holy cow. It's been a crunch. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, everybody talks about the SEMA crunch, and right. I'll, I'll tell you what, it's it's for real. Yeah, yeah, it can happen, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. What about the interior? Uh, so the interior, we went kind of same stockish theme. It's got a cat skin leather material. Um, we bought it raw at a local small shop, um, RA upholstery out of, out of Oregon as well. Um, single, one-man shop, does all his own stuff. You know, small sewing machine type yeah. up. I mean, he's, he's not a big guy, but he he's good. You yeah. know, he's straight lines, everything, you know. But we took that same concept. Catskin had some material that was, had some stamping in it and gave us the opportunity to make it kind of, again, that stockish stamped theme that used to be in these trucks and, at, you know, add it to, to the seat and add it to the door panels. And we did a headliner up above that, you know, a lot of people, you yeah, almost get on your knees to get up underneath that to see it right now right. the way it's sitting at the show. But, yeah. but it, you know, it adds a, adds a flavor, but it's a you know, stock, again, stock flavor that, right. you know, cleaner and you know, hopefully something that this thing was being built right now, that, that would be those clean, fine touches that you would see. If they build them, they'd sell them, I think. I, 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 would, I would like to hope so. <laughs> Brady, I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate your time. I appreciate that you uh, put this thing together. And, man, um, good luck with it. I hope uh, I hope you get some good results. Yeah, I appreciate the time. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. All right, thanks, Scotty. So there you go. From the SEMA Show 2017, a 1967 C10 slammed to the ground. White noise. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.